so this was filmed um this was in the 1980s i believe purely based on um purely based on the fact of, yeah yeah so so it, it's it's read at the back it's uh cool 80s um, music, sexual tension, good looking teenagers, and most importantly, dollops of attitudes. So it's, it's, it was, um, it was, um, came out in the 80s. Um, it's a classic 80s film. Um, you know, it's, it's just got all the right things, um, that's about it. Um, and, um yeah i live alone um but i live in the same pro i live on the same property as m my family home um so this is about um this is about five strange five s strangers um teenagers who don't really know each other well um or hardly at all um and um there's the punk there's the jock oh there's the punk i think he would call himself a punk there's a jock there's the geek there's the uh oh classic student posh student or whatever and there's the uh um, emo, goth, oh, no, goth, <laughs> goth freak, um, oh, bad girl, yeah, I guess so, um, and they're all at school, um, so no one is at, at the school when they get there for detention, they're all there basically for de detention, um, so they're, they're there for like uh um basically for the weekend for the day of the week the weekend um and um uh so they go it in you know, on saturday um at 7 a.m um till Uh, till 4 p.m. and by the end of the film they become very good friends they get to know each other very well um, they get to know that you know there are some aspects to themselves that the others identify with each other so well and and two of um four like so um no there's there becomes like a two couples by the end of the um by the end of the movie and then they they kind of um talk to each other like talk to the group about how they feel like you know basically like oh people may identify me as da da da, -da but actually I'm I'm kind of they don't know the half of it what happens at home and all that so they get to kind of you know drag up their you know her, what happens at home and kind of uh you know kind of uh all that and kind of like situations at home and at at school and peer pressure and all of that um and and the the end sound the end soundtrack to this um so billy idol was gonna get that one um that was gonna do that um end song but um but someone oh, was one of the uh one of the um bands from the eighties um uh, got it instead because Billy Idol didn't want to do it. Um, so let me, let's 
So let me just try and see who it was. Because, oh, because obviously I need to, I, this is the easier way for me to just, you know, kind of, um, so it was um, Simple Minds that, that did the, the, uh, the uh, song at the end of the film. So they did um, Don't You Forget About Me, um, punch, um, <laughs> um, but Billy, they were going to do Billy Idol for it, but Billy Idol unfortunately turned it down. Um, I think bad move. I think bad move to turn that song down after this film became a huge hit at box office, you know. Um, but but Simple Minds did the song and um, yeah, <laughs> just made it even more popular, um, you know, of a of a song. Um, What do you mean, where is the donate link? Can you let me know what you mean by that? Um, so, yeah, this is a, a great kind of, um, this is a great kind of uh, coming of age film, which is a total classic, classic film. Um, and if you haven't seen it already, then I insist you get it uh, <laughs> because you don't know what you're missing, um, you know. And I really got um, the, you know, the characters and some of the characters, I knew what they were. I, I could identify with some of the characters um, very easily. Um, it's... Um, it is, um, um, just... let me just see the breakfast club. Um, oh, um, Donate for your stream. Um, uh, I'm assuming you mean like Patreon or all that. I don't have Patreon. Um, you can subscribe. Um, I'm pretty sure you can do that. Um, um, yeah. You can subscribe. Um, I I don't really know uh, where you. I don't have Patreon or anything like that. So, if you want to, uh, kind of. Um, but I'm sure. Um, I'm sure uh, you can uh, subscribe. And that possibly would maybe do the same thing. I'm, I'm not really sure. Uh, this is fairly new to uh, me, so yeah, um, yeah. Just like a follow, or or you can subscribe to my uh, page. You know, the the usual thing at and uh, Twitch. Um, so um, the when. Um, Uh, I didn't, yeah, so it was, it was put to, um, in cinemas, it was in cinemas in 1985, um, and how the director kind of did things with, with the film, it's very, um, you know, it was, it was like spontaneous, but a bit planned, if you get my meaning. So like, if, if, if the cast brought up like an idea or whatever, um, the, the director would just say, 
yeah, you can, you can, you know, maybe put in this. So flourish of ideas um, came through um, throughout, um, you know, whilst doing the film. Um, and yeah, it, it sounded like a very fun um, environment for, for the actors to be part of. Um, and uh, yeah. Um, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Pointless, yeah. That will, that will, that makes sense. Just, just you can just uh, follow me if you want. Um, you're not obliged, um, but I think I, I think I would need to have like you know fifty followers before sub doing the before I can get people to su subscribe. So yeah, you can just like follow me if you want, but you're not obliged. <laughs> like I said. Um, so, uh, yeah, but like uh, this film is, um, is, um, where is the time? Um, ding, ding, ding. um, so this is a, a 15, um, film. So you have to be 15 or over to watch this because there are some aspects that are, uh, no, not we for people who are under 15, let's just say. Certain subjects matters that, um, no, um, yeah. I'll, no, I'll, I'll see what um, needs to be done for a donation link. Um, but yeah, I, I probably need to talk to my, my trusted friend about stuff like this <laughs> because I have no clue. Um, so, um, yeah, but, but yeah, I, this is a great movie. Um, and, um, oh, I can't find the oh no i think it is um so it says um one like 1.78 so i'm guessing that's the time um so it's uh, so it's over two hours um so that would be um that'll be two hours and Two thousand fifty eight minutes. So just shy under three just shy under three hours, <laughs> I think. I think I got that right. Um unless I'm mistaken. Um Because I can't see anything else that is represents time on here. <laughs> um, so I'm guessing. Okay, so I can only assume it's a bit less than three hours. Um, because I can't see anything else that's represents time on here. <laughs> Suitable only for persons of 15 years and over. Possibly because of the language and the um, certain content um, and that because it's, um, you know, part of 
high school and all that. So just, it says a definitive 80s teen movie right there. Um, Um, big, well, it's it's just something. Well, for me, DVDs are are something to kind of you know, hold the physical object. It's it's exactly like books. It's the physical object. That's why I uh, I, I like having the physical object in my hands. <laughs> so um, yeah, I definitely recommend this to any of my friends who who likes um, coming of age comedy drama I can name certain friends who would like that although when they would want to watch that I have no clue but I can definitely recommend that um, so yeah and uh, they do get out of detention at the end. Um, so it's basically 7 a.m. till 4 p.m. on a Saturday. <laughs> and they just, they, they, they don't do, you know, detention. They, they're just there to kind of, you know, they don't actually, I don't think they actually write down what they've learned. I think they, I think it's, or apart from one person that I know, but I think it's just like, you know, they're basically like, you know, smoking and, and, you know, kind of like seeing each other's reactions to what they're saying or doing or, you know, and at one point they're like dancing, you know, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just really fun to watch and just hysterical, very hysterical, um, and, yeah. How many times have I watched it? More than three. At least. I mean, I don't really count how many times I've watched a film, but at least three that I know of. <laughs> um, but um, honestly, it's, it's a really good film. I've actually watched it on TV at some stage. Um, and um, and I think, I think I've either bought it myself or one of my parents have got that, that for me for uh, Christmas or for um, my birthday at some stage. So yeah, because of, because they've given me other um, films as well. So yeah. It helps. <laughs> um, and also, I think also I actually watched some reviews from like TV um, documentaries on classic films too. And those, those um, documentary um, uh, TV uh, programs about classic films, um, you know, that you can get um like you, you can watch are really helpful if you haven't seen a, a film or if you heard about a film but you haven't watched it um those types of tv documentaries are really really helpful um and so yeah i think that's what hooked me in at first